What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Disney 100 uh, Phantom two box break uh, random pack number three uh, just sold out. So this is a company I think uh, Kakawao, I believe, that created this product, and it's a very very nice product. The cards look sharp, kind of gives it a little Prism Select feel. Uh, but again, this is not anything affiliated with any of the bigger brands that we know. Of. This is straight from China, I believe, and it's a pretty fun break. Uh, but basically, guys, it's pretty simple. You buy a spot, you're getting a random pack. So we have two boxes here, so a total of 20 packs. We're gonna number the packs, then we're gonna randomize the customer names and the pack numbers, and whatever pack you match up with is what you get. And then of course we'll rip it open for you and show you what you get right there. So let's uh, get it going, guys. So I'm gonna switch scenes first really quick. Have a All right, so I'm going to open up the first box, guys. Number them. Alright, first 10 are numbered there. Let's open up this one now. All right, so there's 20 packs numbered there. Let me uh, turn off my camera a little bit. It feels like it's a little, a little slow. Good, right? All right, so now guys, let's randomize the customer names and the numbers and whatever you match up is what you got, guys. Roll it. 
Snake eyes just two times, guys. One, two. So two times. Shane, Dunner Franklin. There you go. Let's see what you guys match up with with the numbers. One, two. Seven, down to 13. So, Shane, you have seven, Dwayne with nine, Shane with five, Alan with 14, Michael with 16, Josh with 12, Tyrone with 17, Josh with 18, D Mag with three, Franklin with six, Josh with eight, John with 19, Michael with 10, Ed with two, Nicholas with one, Aaron with 11, Dwayne with 20, Brian Dunn with four, Josh with 15, and then Franklin with 13. So, actually, I'm going to alphabetize my customer name, and then we'll go like that first. And let me um, also just print out this list already. And I'll just uh, kind of do all the work already, basically. Boom. And let me go grab uh... I think he'll sleep here, does he? All right, guys. Here we go. Good luck. So, Aaron, we're gonna go with you first, buddy. Your pack eleven. Here we go, man. So you get one little like hollow refractor, whatever you want to call it, silver per pack. You get one numbered card per box, a die cut, a little postcard it looks like. And then these redemptions, of course, that obviously, we don't really know what that is, but I'm sure you can look up online and figure that out. We have an Eeyore, Violet, a little Elastigirl, Ellen Parr, and then Finn, or Flynn Ritter, a writer, I should say, from Tangled, and a little piglet. So again, obviously, I know everyone wants to chase the numbered card. They do have the character autos, which are selling for a lot. But some of the refractors actually tend to sell pretty well. So depending on the character, I mean, obviously, I had so many questions and so many of them saying the same thing over and over again on Instagram yesterday. What's what's the case hit? What's the chaser? I think it's just the most popular Disney movie characters, right? I mean, I think someone I mentioned on Instagram, that like Cinderella Silver, was selling for like $100, you know. So obviously, even though the pack is, you know, the 3040s, I mean, if you get the right silver, you easily make your money back. Of course, if it's about money for you, right? I think for a lot of people, it's just uh, kind of fun to just rip something different. All right, Alan Murdoch, you got 14. There we go. Here we go. Emperor Zerg. Bo Peep. And you got Russell. A little bullseye in the back. But Russell, a little hollow from up. Very nice.
All right, Brian, you have pack four. Good luck, buddy. We have uh, Serena. This is from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Thanks, Brian. All right, DMAC is up, and DMAC has one pack, which is pack three. Dumbo and nice Donald Duck Silver Again, I, I'll tell you guys the cards look really sharp. The centering is very nice. I don't think I've, I've seen one off-centered card yet which makes me believe that Either they actually like to look at quality control <laughs> or uh, obviously they just really took their time making sure everything was good. All right, so Dwayne has 20 and nine. So 20 and nine. There we go, man, good luck. Buzz. Nice, and that's one of those Disney 100 ones. That's uh, John, John Smith from Pocahontas. So we notice the background is kind of like 100. A little different. Some of them have 100, some of them don't, I guess. But I guess the live action ones don't, actually. That's true. Ooh, looks like you got a numbered card. Nice Peter Pan. And that is stamp one of 100. So again, the numbered cards is what you really want besides the autograph. Some of the numbered cards, depending on the character, sell for a lot. That's a pretty nice one right there, man. Well, it's either Kyle that obviously Penny doesn't care because they, they, they pr produce and create so many cards. Or... You know, this company obviously is so small, maybe. Uh, they want to make sure that they perfect it, right? And make sure that it's a good product. Not to say that I don't... I don't. I mean, I don't know. They might have more products out there, but... But... Yeah, these cards look sharp, and the, the cards are very centered. I'll tell you that. Alright, thanks, man. Alright, so we should almost be halfway through. Ed... That's pack two. And King Candy. He's evil in Wreck It Ralph. Franklin got a couple. Six and thirteen. All right, six 
and 13. 6 and 13. You got a die cut, Miko. From Pocahontas. Die cuts are really cool, actually. And 13. And Fauna and Flora and the uh, Merryweather. Sleeping Beauty. All right. Alright, John with 19. Got a postcard that is a Alice in Wonderland Disney 100. That's true. I mean, but you still have to think, though. I mean, even though... I mean, obviously, Fanatics will be owning almost everything soon. Or, or not owning them, but have the licensing, but... I mean, even Fanatics, of course. Not to say that they're as bad, but, I mean, I think a lot of the company's cards sometimes are really off-centered, which... Like I said, what is the reason behind that? Is it they don't care? Because they, they just need to print out a massive amount to supply to the world, or... You know... What, what's the main reason they do that for, you know? Why wouldn't they want to make sure that everything's... Now, of course, not every card is meant to be perfect, but... I'll tell you what, these are pretty close to perfect, at least centering-wise. Now, of course, surface is another thing, and, you know... Edges and whatnot, but... At least the centering's nice, you know? I feel like that's one thing that most of these places can do. Alright, uh, 8 and 15. But there's still a couple of card companies out there that supply cards, so. The Lion King. Little postcard. And Helen Parr, Elastigirl. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good way that's a good way to say it too. Like I said, I don't expect every card to be perfect, anyways. But I guess when you finally do get those rare PSA tens or nine fives and stuff like that, I guess that's when it separates yourself, though, right? All right, guys, not too many left. Josh got twelve and eighteen. Eighteen. 12. And we have a classic reu uh, reunion, I think it says. Beauty and the Beast. Or not reunion, uh, classic something, I forgot what it said in the background. The Queen of Hearts.
All right, Michael. That's 16 and 10. So 10, 16. There you go, man. Good luck. Minnie Mouse, Fairly Godmother, Spot, and then Frank Wolf. I think it's the live action Jungle Cruise, right? Ooh, Chinese Zodiac. These are kind of a little bit trippy cards, of course. I mean, not every part of the world probably believes that 666 is bad juju, but 314 out of 666. And that is a Chinese Zodiac right there. And that's the uh, Year of the Ox, I believe. That's a cool card. There you go, man. Also, too, guys, my Prism Pack Filler is now down to 12 left, guys. Still a little ways to go, but like I said, it's just pretty cheap. Still got a chance at a nice hit. You never know. You can get an autograph, a nice rookie color, maybe a color blast, maybe something crazy, guys. Remember, we pulled some crazy stuff out of packs, and that's coming from a sealed box of Prism. So, like I said, there's opportunity there. All right, Nicholas with one. And fear. All right, thanks, Nick. And then Shane got two, seven, and five. Serena. Got one long. Then we have a Aladdin. There you go, buddy. And last pack here, 17 for Tyrone. Which I feel like we're still missing one die cut, so I think the die cut should be yours. There we are. And it is Butch. From the Good Dinosaur. Did not see that movie. Alright, buddy. There you go, Tyrone. Appreciate it. So there you go, guys. Uh... I think we still have enough breaks for another two more breaks of this Disney. So if Nick hasn't already, I'll re-upload some more right now. Now, of course, like I said, my main focus this morning is selling out some of the new releases, especially that Prism that is super, super close. So, of course, check it out, guys. Like I said, I have a pack filler up there. Very cheap, $34.99. You get two random teams and a little pack filler of Prism. And then, of course, we'll randomize the 16 names. Four out of the 16, one in four shot get into prism there's a 250 dollar titans team available in there and then the rest of the teams are all 80 dollars plus so like i said technically uh doubling your money there so give it a shot guys appreciate it guys jazbeescasebreaks.com